What's up, YouTube? For tonight's video, we have the Liberty Pass Victini uh, distribution card event. So, I'm going to go over this one and uh, show you what happens on the whole event. It's actually more than just getting a Pokemon receiving it on the Mystery Gift. Uh, you have to uh, do a couple of things. So, um, we've got one other game distributing the uh, Victini. Um, now, this one, you don't actually have to set a date in or anything. You can just plop it in and um, receive it on another DS via infrared. So let me give you some background information uh, about this game. Obviously, you just get it via Mystery Gift and uh, Infrared uh, to get the item. So this ran from uh, the 6th of March 2011 to the 27th of April 2011. It was only on black and white games, um, and it was in real life, and it was on Wi-Fi as well. So two instances, instances there. Oh my god, I couldn't even say that. So uh, we want to grab the receive the gift, and this will uh, spawn the Liberty Pass now. To be noted, you can only get one of these uh, per game, or the Victini per game. So obviously, if you want to get another one, you'd have to restart your game over and over. This is basically, I know a lot of people obviously don't have this card. And if you, did anyone actually do this event, um, that'd be um, cool if you did. I just want to give you some information about this and uh, show what it actually was, so in case anyone uh, didn't actually do this. So there's the Wonder Card there, and that was just basically saying this will give you access to the Liberty Garden to meet uh, Victini. However, you don't uh, get it straight away. So I'm just booting up one of my black and white games. This one, I'm not very far into the game, but you don't actually really have to be. You only have to really be at Carcelia City. Right, so it's uh, it's winter at the moment. Oh my god, look at these graphics. They're amazing. Okay, so we want to head into the Pokemon Center. Oh, look how long it took me to go into the door. I remember that. Oh, it just makes you appreciate some of the uh, you know, some of the newer mechanics in the game. Okay, so I actually got Dialga here um, from my last one. Um, that's why that came up twice. I just edited that out. So uh, here's the... Uh, I nearly called that the uh, Aurora ticket. There's the Liberty Pass. And uh, I was getting a little bit excited there, and uh, we are going to grab that. Now, before we go for this Victini, you probably want to stock up on some balls. So let's get some balls. At the moment, there's only Pokeball and Great Ball available. So I'm going to get a couple of Great Balls. I think I've got a couple of Pokeballs in my box already, but um, let's get some Great Balls. Now, this is going to be like a, a walkthrough style thing because... Um, like I said, we got to do um, we got to do a couple of things to actually do this, which is quite fun. I, I like these sort of events, like not just receiving the Pokemon. I, I really, f I, I really would like to for them to do that, like release more events that you not just receive the Pokemon via Mystery Gift or Infrared. You actually go do something like a little, you know, hidden thing in the game. You go do and uh, get. You actually have to go catch the Pokemon. I, I'd much prefer if they did those sort of things. Anyway, I can keep dreaming. <laughs> So I've got a couple of revives as well in case this uh, Victini is going to wreck me. It's not a very high level. I think it's, I think it might be dependent on like how you are in the. I'm, I, I think it's like sorry, it is level set at level fifteen. I, I um correct myself there. It's it's so it's level fifteen Victini. Right, let's go to it. So you got to run all the way to the end there, um to this last uh, thing of stairs. Oh my god, <laughs> this. Uh, the city brings back so many memories. So we go uh, to this good here with the yellow boat, and he said, "Oh, you have the Liberty Pass. Would you like to go in the li uh, to Liberty Garden?" And you hit yes, and then you'll go on like a little boat ride over to there. Okay, it's sort of like the uh, SSN, but you don't battle people on the boat per se. You just well, the, the SSN really didn't move. I guess um, it sort of just went on there and it left in Gen One, of course. So. Now we're going to go to this bit here, which is the Liberty Garden. Now, as you can see, there's a, uh, a plasma person there too. And all these people are blocking off. So you're probably getting the idea whether we're going to have to verse some plasma people. And this is, what's this dude doing? Okay, so you can't go down there. Now you've got to go past this bit. Um, now, obviously, as you could probably guess, we're going to have to battle some Team Plasma, which is going to be cool. Um, so what we want to do is go into that building up there. So there's a couple of places we've got to first. So this is actually my in-game team, like one of my in-game teams. I think I may have done like a walkthrough on this like a very, very long time ago, but I never really picked it up again. So this is my exact team that I was using um, in the walkthrough. Okay, so we got Pat Rat level 18. I'm pretty sure they level it out so uh, around the uh, same levels as you are at this point in the game because you can get it fairly early. All right, so I'm level, uh, level 25. I got I got arm thrust in this thing, which arm thrust actually helped me like through most of this, and I was a fairly high, like decent level too. Okay, so this is just some, uh, you got about a couple of plasma grunts before you get into uh, this little bit here. Okay, man, it's just playing this it brings back so many memories. Right, so now we want to go. Oh, what's this? This is like oh, there's a, there's a dude there and there's a dude there, but this is like a little bridge. Okay, wait, that's just their boat. Never mind. You don't have to. You don't actually have to verse this guy here. You can keep going, but we'll battle him anyway. That's kind of how it is. 
Now, I just woke up to, and I found, just found out uh, Gen 3 got released in Pokemon Go. I think 50 Pokemon. So I'm going to go play that after. It's going to be it's going to be fun. Okay, so we've got Sando, and uh, we're going to use Arm Thrust against this thing too. I liked uh, I liked the uh, I like the animations for stat rising and stat uh, you know stat lowering in uh, Gen 5. I quite like that. Okay, so uh, spanking that Sandal, and that's going to be a two-hit KO anyway. I'm just so much higher level um, in this game as well, so that and that stab too. Super effective. So level 26 for me. I'm actually not that far off evolving. Okay, so we've got another Pat Rat here. Most of the grunts had Pat Rats, which was really, really quite easy. Uh, now, I had a full team as well. I had a, I had a Dialga as well <laughs> that was... Um, I just had in case uh, anything re really wrong with the Victini because it does have uh, it does have confusion as well, which is super effective against me. All right, so that's going to go down to three arm for us. Uh, sorry, two arm for us, and uh, that's down. So now we've got one more trainer outside of the building to do, and then we're going to go inside and see what's in there. Uh, see, this is the thing I like. I, I wish, I really wish they'd um, they do more things like this. Um, so just showing that. Now this is the other side. Like you can't get back. You know, you can't get back through there. Just showing you how, like, <laughs> shut your trap. That's not very nice. Okay. Now we want to battle this guy out the front, right? Because I think, yeah, I think you, um, it's almost like you have to, like, uh, walk right next to them for them to notice you. Anyway, so that's, uh, next team plays a battle, and then we're going to go in there and, uh, catch this Victini. Okay, so he's only got one Pokemon. Like, most of them only have, like, one or two Pokemon, so it's fairly easy to get through. So Sandal... Level 18 is going to go down really easy. Even if it got Intimidate... To, oh, it doesn't have Intimidate this time. Okay, I'm just going to use Arm Thrust. I think this was like one of the first... Uh, yeah, this was the first game that actually started moving, like panning the camera around in the battle. Um, and then the trainers would sort of like uh, pop up mid during the battle. I, I really go quite like those aspects. Okay, let's go in here, kids, and let's get this Victini. Okay, there's another train down there. Um, and there's a policeman dude. Okay, maybe... Let's talk to this guy. Okay. This guy actually going to heal up your Pokemon if you're actually having trouble with those first few trainers or you just need to heal your Pokemon up. Now, you can leave the island if you want and come back. Um, you can do that too. Unless you forgot like, uh, to buy like Pokeballs or Great Balls or stuff like that. Okay, so there's one more Plasma here. And I'm pretty sure the... Uh, you know there's, And there's one more trainer in the actual room of the Victini too. Okay. So if anyone didn't see the Victini or the event, now you get to see uh, what it was. So we got Pat Rat again. So I'm guessing Pat Rat and Zandal, and um, maybe the tra uh, the trainer before has like a, you know, a fully evolved Pokemon. It's kind of how it mostly works with the uh, villains. All right, let's arm thrust. This might even be a one hit KO. Oh, it's very close to a one hit KO. So uh, Pat Rat is down. Now I will have some Pokemon sweeps up tonight as well. I was actually meant to do one tonight. Like I just. I know, I felt I've been feeling a little bit burnt out the last few days, so that's why I haven't put it up. Oh, it's a Scraggy. Okay, let's use Arm Thrust. This thing was such a pain in the little cup, but wait, then again, it still is <laughs> in fifth jet. All right, so that's down and uh, 225 experience. That's that Plasma Beaten. Racking up that Poker Dough as well. Now, I think I saved. Yeah, I saved here. I just quickly saved here. Um... Just in case. I, uh, when I did it the first time around, I was like, I wonder if you go straight into the battle. I just kind of, I sort of forgot. So that's why I saved it at this point. And then, then I soon figured out that I didn't really actually need to save it. So going through this door, now we've got a Team Plasma here. Okay. The one who obtains the Pokemon said uh, Victorious. So basically, I'm just going to explain what happened here. Like there was this mansion, right? And the Victini was kept inside the mansion, like away from everyone. This is what you can read. I, I, I slowed the text down here so you could read it. Okay. And so no one saw the Victina came a mythical Pokemon. So basically it was it was it was kept away from everyone in this in this uh, place. Okay, now team players will obviously want to get the Victini and use it for their own evil purposes. Right, so we're thrown into a battle against uh, this plasma. And obviously, this is the last plasma we've got to verse, and then um, you can walk up to the Victini and just click on it. So you can save after this and you can soft reset for it as well. Okay, so this guy has a level 20 Watch Hog, so they've uh, boosted the level, and uh, it's, it's a fully evolved Pokemon now. However, I've still got a super effective move against it, which is Arm Thrust, and that is still a three-hit KO, and it's going to hit three times. So that was, um, you know, that was that was really quite easy with um, P uh, Pig Knight. I swear they stole that name from me. I, I should have copyrighted it. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's the last Team Plasma person beaten, and. Um, now he's going to allow you to verse it. And he was saying it won't be uh, so simple. 
So now you can save your game if you want to go for the uh, nature and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to save the game in case I don't catch it because that's what I'm mainly worried about. And we'll, we'll have a look after what the Victini actually is. Now, this Victini was... It was a pain in the ass, but I'm not going to give away too much yet. It was quite funny. Okay, so click up uh, on the Victini. It's got like a little bedroom there too, which is cool. So you just get to see some of the events that you may not have seen before and like, some of the like lore behind it. So we've got level uh, 15 Victini. Now, don't be fooled by this level. It's uh, still uh, quite an uh, annoying pain in the bum to catch. So now we need to get Victini down to a low enough uh, amount of health to catch it. Right. So it's got the moves, Endure, Quick Attack, Confusion, and Incinerate. Those are the four moves that it's got, and it's level 15. Um, endure can be handy if you know you're gonna, if you're gonna take it out, but I, I wouldn't risk it just on one health. So I just went for the, uh, I think I went for Tackle and Flame Charge. You just get it in the range. So here I was thinking, is Flame Charge gonna be enough to actually take it out here? Because I know it's gonna become rather close. Um, so I decided to go for a Great Ball catch anyway, just to see if I could like fluke it right off the bat. Okay, now we got one shake here, but it broke out. Now I, they actually introduced uh, critical catches into the game too, which was another feature. I was hoping I could get it with one of those. So I think I was thinking uh, like maybe I should go for a flame charge, put it down, and if it doesn't work, I can just you know turn the game off, turn it back on, and uh, go for the victory again. So I went for the flame charge, and there was enough damage to put it into the red, which was really good. And uh, I also I also got a speed rise. What hot? Uh, not that I'm really going to be attacking it again. So now it's level 15 and it's uh, in low and I can just throw a ball. So I had one heal ball left. Now I had three poker balls, one heal ball and 30 great balls, right? I bought the, bought the 30 great balls before I got here. And that's just, that's just so you know how many um, like balls that I've got at this point in the game. Just remember that. Anyway, so I was having a little bit of uh, trouble actually catching this. Um, I, was, I was actually... I actually kind of forgot what Pokemon I had on my team, to be honest, because I haven't actually used this uh, save file for a while, um, this cartridge. As I said, this was from my walkthrough, right? So I wasn't 100% sure. And I was like, um, while I was doing this, I was, like, I was like wondering, do I have a status move or not? And then in my Pokemon, I'm like, nah, I don't think any of them had a status move. They've all got, like, attacking moves. Um, so I was just throwing great, ball, great balls at the Victini uh, for a while. Then I start, I think I started to, like, look through my party after a bit, and then I, I actually found uh, a Pokemon with a status move that I used. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna show the whole struggle because it was very very entertaining. So Victini, um, in my experience, liked to break out on the first shake like a lot. I don't know if it was just me. It just like kind of was. Now, as I said, I'm not very far on this uh, the, on, in the safe file, do I? So I didn't have access to like Ultra Balls and like other other balls like that. So I only really had Poke Ball and Great Ball and that amazing Heal Ball that uh, you know, had one break. Okay, so one shake and that was it. So that one at the start right and that shake there. Were, that was like the, I think that was the closest I got in a very long time. So anyway, so I'm going to keep going for the Great Ball uh, catches. So, um, as I said, I'll explain. In my party, I had a, as, as in they call it, a Zeb Streaker. A Blitzel, which had Thunder Wave, right? So I started looking through my party and saying, oh, I can swap that out and go for the Thunder Wave and that'll give me like, a higher chance to catch the Victini because this is, you know, it's breaking out very, very quickly. So at this point in the game, I was just like looking through my party and stuff and see what I actually had. Um, they were pretty uh, average Pokemon. So swapping out uh, my Pig Knight now, going into my Blitzel. I think I call them all like Pimp before their name. Like I think I was just trying to get like a uh, um, little nickname thing going. Anyway, so went for Endure. I didn't have. I, I really didn't uh, want to go for an attacking move, banking on this Endure. So I thought, yeah, this will be enough to go for Thunder Wave. So Victini is going to go for a Confusion. Since I'm only level 15, I knew that was going to do a lot of damage to me. But I lived enough to take it off the Thunder Wave, which is nice. So Victini is going to get paralyzed. And here we go. I'm going to let you watch this because this was hilarious. Like, I, I couldn't believe this. All right, people. I'll talk to you after the catch.
Oh my goodness, finally I got it. That took ages. So uh, let me tell you what happened there. That was my last great ball. That was my 30th great ball. And that little thing didn't shake. It didn't shake once. I couldn't believe it. Like, after those two, sh like, one shakes at the start, it didn't shake once. I even had to bring out my Dialga there just to tank the moves. And um, hopefully I could get it. So I, I finally got Victini after like 69 years. And it's going to go to my box one. Right, so living with Victania means accepting Victania's power, and um, actually after this you get a little bit of a uh, um, dialogue as well. So just, oh, that was my bottom screen. So I'll show you, that's all I had left, three Pokeballs. I used up 30 Great Balls, so it was very, very close to actually, um, I had to nearly turn the game off and back on. So that was my first go as well. Um, I, had, I didn't do any soft resets or anything like that. This was my very first go. So now we want to go out of here. We want to go back on the boat and we want to check the Victini stats. Now, also, when you come out of here, um, stuff happens as well. So the police come in, uh, and, uh, I guess, arrest Team Plasma. And uh, they're going to walk off. And then we've got uh, Juniper here as well. She's going to give a little bit of a spiel. Thanks to you, uh, you know, saving the Victini and everything. And basically, she says uh, the Victini was like, it was good that it was kept away, but it was bad that it was sort of kept away from everyone else. Like, um... And it's good to be, you know, that you're with, with with a trainer and that kind of thing. That that sort of uh, that sort of sums up what she says in basic terms. <laughs> I need a drink of water. All right. Um, so in the Unova Pokedex, it was uh, also meant to be uh, number zero as well, which was cool. That's uh, it just gives you a little bit of like history and um, extra background, which is nice. Um, I like that. Like new information is good. All right. So now they're going to return to Castle City. And uh, everyone's going to leave, and you'll actually be able to get back through the top little bit because those people, well, one of those people will move. Okay, so that that was the uh, that was the entire event. I, that was really fun. Um, I like, as I said, I like those sort of events. Now we want to check. Um, I'll just show you that little pier as well. That was nothing there. That was just a boat there. So um, now you want to go back this way because it's a little bit quicker. If you go like walk up and straight through, you can go through there. Let's 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 talk to this guy. He was amazing at the start. Okay. Now, what you can do is talk to the police guy, and uh, he'll just—you can just go back there. And uh, you can only do—you can only get that Victini once per save too. So if you want to go back, um, if you want to go for nations and stuff, I suggest you probably send it to your party or have a slot left in your party. Then you can, um, then you can do that. Let's have a look what nature actually got and uh, what the Victini, um, you know, actually is. Um, some of its stats and stuff. Okay. Running all the way back to the Pokemon Center. I can't even remember if I got a bicycle at this point. So, let's go. Oh my goodness, the doors. Oh, I think that was one thing I hated was the doors on this game. So, uh, I took four hours to go into the uh, the, uh, the Pokemon Center. Let's go into my PC. Why do I, I forgot why they're in my PC. I said this was a walkthrough game, so there's not much in here. We're going to move Pokemon. Oh, there's an amazing Pat Rat level four there. So, here's the big T. Oh, it's Adamant. Adamant nature, baby. Woo! So Adamant's really good. I could use Choice Scarf on that. And that was my first go too. So I'm, I'm, that's getting kept. Um, and now it's got Confusion, Incinerate, Quick Attack, and Dewar. Uh, you know, Psychic Fire, Pokemon level 15. Let's have a look at some of its stuff. So there's the Liberty Garden. And um, yeah, obviously it doesn't have any like ribbons and si per se on it. So that's just what it looks like. And level 15. So there's the ID. Um, just putting this on the bottom screen. And the uh, experience points it's got. Now, mostly Victini is a fairly, uh, you know, it's, it usually uses V-Create. Unfortunately, I could, this doesn't get V-Create, um, but you could, uh, you know, if you got another one, uh, you could definitely use that on it. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it, was, it was rather fun to do, uh, going back into the old game and catching the Victini and going through the little, um, I guess, extra Easter egg story of it. Um, as I said, I may, I will get a, um, some sort of video up tomorrow. It'll be like a Pokemon. It'll probably be a Pokemon Sweep. I've nearly got it edited and stuff. It may even be a couple of them. We'll just see. I've got a fairly busy day today. But, um, I'm going to go play some Pokemon Go. I hope you enjoyed this little blast from the past. And, um, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.